If you watched my prior video in the state, this was the very next game that I mentioned with the same lobby, with me getting host, and it is so fucking wrong. I gotta say, I really debated about posting this shit, but in the end, I just couldn't fucking resist. This is an entire game of me tubing. I mean literally, start to finish, nothing but pro pipes, and I can only imagine the hate this video is going to receive. It also happens to be on strike, which is the tuber's wet dream because you can spawn to both the A and the C flag. So I'm going to spawn to the shit out of the A flag until they actually capture it. Now, this is also going to be a different kind of commentary for me. Normally, I talk about gameplay, and I keep the editorial and opinionated shit to myself. I rarely, if ever, talk about shit outside of gameplay or randomly blab on about bullshit that has nothing to do with my videos. I know when I watch those kind of videos on YouTube and shit, they bore the shit out of me. So I try not to do that on my videos and turn the shit into my own personal blog. But... The gameplay is going to speak for itself, so I want to address a few things when it comes to noob tubes before people get sand all up in their badge. I noob tube only under certain conditions, and I'm not one of those dicks that'll use this class non-stop on every fucking map unless I have a reason to. Now I admit, I spawn to. Although my plan didn't work out in this game because my team is a bunch of assholes, if you end up on a smart team, which I never seem to do, they can cap the two flags for you, and your noob tubes will prevent the other team from capping their flag. Tactically, it's fucking genius. Because the first objective the other team is going to have is going to be to kill your ass before they can actually capture their flag. And yes, it also helps with cheap kills and all, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Now, normally, I switch out after they capture their flag or they kill my ass, but we lost out on the B flag, and I figured going after air support was our best chance of getting back that B flag. So I kept these shits on. I keep a new tube class on hand, mainly because I'll, I'll find other people using it. Now, nothing gives me more pleasure than seeing a noob tuber beg for me to make their ass stop bleeding. I love seeing noob tubers rage quit, and I love hitting them with the same exact class they feel like being a bitch and using. When I get hit with noob tubers, the first thing I do is immediately switch out to this class, and I've personally ruined their fucking day. Usually you see that shit in ground war, because ground war lags like a motherfucker, man. You can't blame people for that shit in a way. Hell, my internet connection is basically a giant gerbil running around a fucking hamster wheel, so I have to tube when I go for challenges in ground war. Every time I attempt to use a normal fucking gun, my magic bullets fly right the fuck through people. So I have to use tubes when it comes to fucking ground war. Now, in my other videos, I also like to use this class when I hunt down boosters. Granted, there are plenty of setups that work to hunt boosters, but this setup is great for completing multi-equipment challenges like claymores and C4 and shit, mainly because you can constantly replenish them. Also, having sit rep on, you can find the tactical insertions quicker, and when you destroy those tactical insertions, that counts towards another notch towards the 750 equipments you have to destroy. And by the way, why the fuck do you have to destroy 750 equipments in this goddamn game? Who is the asshole that came up with that fucking idea? Is that same stupid motherfucker that came up with running 250 miles lightweight? That's fucking criminal, man. That's fucking bullshit. I hope that motherfucker's in a prison somewhere getting gangbanged and made in somebody's bitch for that shit, man. That shit pisses me off. But anyway, getting back to my point. Another reason I like to use noob tubes is because I wanted 2,500 kills on all the primary guns. And you know how fucking hard that shit is trying to get 2,500 kills with the F2000? My farts do more damage than that fucking gun, man. And it has better range with less recoil. And when I put a silence on my ass, it only magnifies the damage. That piece of shit F2000 is fucking garbage, man. So you know what? I too with that gun. Fuck that. I already had to suffer with the Vector, the M240, the MG4. So I did my work with my shitty guns, and you know what's sad? It took me about five months to finish that shit. Look at that, man. That's like the only time you're going to see me use the gun this game. Now, obviously, I'm not using the F2000 this round. As I, fin I mentioned, I finished that gun a while ago. I was close to 2,500 kills with the M16, so I just fucking threw it on every class I had. Cold-blooded, marathon, lightweight, tubes, whatever the fuck. I just wanted to finish that shit. But anyway, this particular match was extra fucked up, because look at the competition I'm facing. Besides the non-clan nooblets you see in the game, You'll notice there's a FFS clan, or for fuck's sake clan in the room, with relatively low ranks. 11 months into this game's life cycle, how many people do you see fresh out the box playing this game? Let alone an entire fucking clan? So I figured they were sub accounts and they were trying to work on their KDR, hoping that people would think, Oh, these are low level, they're probably not that good. Get the fuck out of here, man. So I felt personally responsible to utterly fucking destroy their precious little stats. Now, oddly enough, these kids are absolutely awful, so I don't know if these really are sub accounts, or if these kids really are brand new to the game. But at any event, it only makes this video that much more fucked up. Now, I know the hate mail I'm going to receive over this shit because I still get complaints from my first Noob 2 video that I posted back like 10 months ago. And it's the same three fucking butthurt comments over and over and over again. So you know what? I might as well address those shits now and save some of you dipshits some time. Butthurt comment number one. You suck. 
that's it. Just a simple you suck or variation of that, like, I hate you, you're gay, or I'd rape your hamster with a noob tube, whatever the fuck. Since the internet allows little kids to be all big and bad and shit because everything is anonymous, I expect kind of remarks like that and shit from the kitties. However, all you little cunt chips that enjoy spamming my videos with bullshit are only helping my channel. For every random jackass comment I get, I fling the insults right back. And 90% of the time, you fucktards come running back with nerd rage. Now, I could care less about your insults because I find that shit entertaining, but every time you come back to argue and show off that tiny little e-penis, it only increases the views of my videos. Think about it. What otherwise would have been one lonely view on my video turns into a returning customer solely on the purpose of continuing to curse me out. And by the way, that's going to be the only time you see me die in this video. Now, every time you want to come back and curse me out, all you do is increase the views of my channel. And since I can keep the pimp hand strong, I don't mind smacking you hoes so you keep coming back. Because all you're doing is showing my channel even more support and love. And that allows me to create more videos for my subscribers and supporters who actually appreciate my content. So you know what? Keep coming back like a squirrel trying to find a fucking nut. Because all it does is help my channel. Now, the second butt hurt comment that I always see. Number two. Noob tubes are cheap. Use a gun. No shit, Sherlock. I think we can all agree noob tubes are cheap and easy kills. But you know what? You can make a case for anything in this game's fucking cheap. From RPGs to Claymores to the Chopper Gunner, UMP, Sniper Rifles, Commando, Spaz, um, the, the fucking bricks in the building, the motherfucking floor I'm running on, anything and everything that can kill you is cheap. But if you can't counter it, what does that make you? If you don't know how to counter a cheap tactic, how fucking bad a player does that make you? I know when I see a noob tuber, I know exactly what the fuck I'm gonna do to get back at that motherfucker. So if you don't know how to counter it, guess what? Tough titty, you deserve to get two. People are going to get the better of you all the time in this game, cheap tactic or not. But if you can't adjust to their tactics as cheap as they are, then you deserve to be killed. It's that fucking simple. Tubes are annoying as fuck, but so is corner camping, so is claymore scavenging, and tons of other annoying shit that people will do. So get good, learn how to counter, and then instead of bitching about it, actually learn how to play the fucking game. Now the final butthurt comment that I know I'm going to see, which is my absolute favorite. People like you ruin this game. That's like having a fat kid work at a bakery and blaming him for eating all the cake. This game wasn't ruined by the players. This motherfucker was ruined day one by Infinity War and Activision. Hell, Infinity War has had 11 months to fix this motherfucker. Your shit is still broken? Other than the javelin glitch, the care package speed glitch, and the emergency drop glitch, what the fuck have they fixed? Commando sure as fuck hasn't been touched. People are still trying to get into that rock on fuel like they're fucking Keanu Reeves in the Matrix. And the only thing they did to one man army was make the change time from two and a half seconds to three seconds. Wow, what do you fucking do? I mean, if you're really looking to blame someone, blame Infinity Ward for not supporting this game. You know, one man army was made for people to change classes on the fly without having to die like we had to do in Call of Duty 4 and uh, World at War. If you wanted a new class, tough titty, you had to die. So unfortunately, the logic they built into one man army comes with this major fucking flaw. But you know what? That's something they could have fixed how they rolled out a public beta. But you can't blame them for that. Activision deserves all the blame for that shit. They never rolled out a fucking public beta or demo before the release of this game. And you know what? That's where most people find out the bullshit that needs to be fixed before games actually release. But oh, they'll sure as fuck roll out two map packs for $15 a piece. With only six new maps and four maps we already paid in for in Call of Duty 4. Give me a break, man. After all, who gives a fuck about 10 million people who paid $60 for a game when you can charge those same 10 million people $30 for a half-assed product? Listen, man, Activision doesn't give a rat's ass about people that play this game. All they give a fuck about is the money that comes out of our wallets. Think about it. They chased out that sorry-ass staff of Infinity Ward over money issues before they could fix this motherfucker. And when the community really turned against Activision, what do they do? Roll out announcements for fucking Black Ops. Hell, Treyarch's whole advertising campaign so far has revolved around, When they're Infinity Ward, when they're going to fuck this game up? Seriously, man, Activision couldn't manage a warm bucket of buffalo piss, let alone a gaming company. So, you jackasses blaming the users are bitching at the wrong people. Blame the fucks who made this broken game and didn't fix it, not those of us who enjoy playing this shit. Now, I know a video picking on these noobs was wrong, but it's not the worst thing in the world I could have posted. I could have posted a picture of me filming your grandparents in the shower and sending that shit to porn sites for money. But you know what? After 11 months of playing this game, sometimes you just feel like being a dick. And that pretty much sums up why I couldn't be bothered switching out my class. I was having too much fun tubing these poor fucks and decided to see how bad things would get. So what? Sue me. Anyways. You know you laugh during this shit, so be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I'm gonna have a couple more Modern Warfare 2 videos before the next Call of Duty fuck-up comes out.